This is a giga truck. It can hold up to five times more than a regular truck, meaning instead of making five trips, moving wood or items, you only have to take one. And this will obviously dramatically speed up anything you do in Lumber Tycoon 2, whether it be collecting wood, trading items, or even building because you can fill it with single units to build with or sell for an insane amount of money. Whatever it is, this truck will probably make it way faster. You can also use the Giga Truck to clamp down everything you have inside, which will protect your items from trolls. And with it clamped down like this, your stuff will pretty much never fall out of the truck. And of course, by clamping it down, you can also kidnap people as well. Who wants a mini axe? <laughs> come, come, come on over here, right over here, guys. Pay no attention to what's happening to you guys. Do 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 do. And if you're thinking the added weight of the walls of the truck will make it slower than a regular truck, here's a race between the two trucks, and as you can see, there is actually no speed difference. Now that said, it will cost you an extra 816 lumber bucks each time you want to respawn it, but you aren't locked in. You can actually just spawn a regular truck with the Giga Truck Spawner anytime you like. And you can also use this spawner to spawn a vault truck, which also has an insane amount of uses, and of course, you can spawn a mega truck with it as well so you really aren't losing much compared to how much you are gaining so yeah this really is the ultimate truck spawner that i promise you won't regret having on your base so with that said let's get straight into how to build the giga truck spawner So this truck obviously isn't one that you can just go out and buy fully complete at boxed cars. Instead, it is made by welding a bunch of different trailers to the truck. So I'll show you exactly where to place each spawner to make it all weld right. Now with vehicle welding like this, it can take a very, very long time to actually find where everything will actually weld right. So this truck spawner placements were actually found by my good friend Spencer, aka Global Pro Killer one So huge shout out to him. Now before you start building the spawner, you'll need to make sure you have all of the required materials on your base. So you'll need a long truck, also known as a Val's All-Purpose Hauler three long trailers, also known as 531 haulers, and you'll also need one small trailer. Those all can be found at boxed cars, which is across the bridge. Next, you'll need to fill in a regular door on your base with a wood of your choice. For my door, I did my favorite wood, which is pine wood. Next, you'll also need to make sure that you have some blueprints in your blueprint book so that we can use them to guide us where to place everything. You don't have to fill these blueprints in, you just have to make sure you have them in your blueprint book. So you'll need a large tile blueprint, a large floor blueprint, and a tiny floor blueprint. And all of these can be found right here in Wood R Us in case you don't already have them all. Alright, so that is everything you need. Now we can move on to building. So to start off, you want to place a large tile blueprint on the ground, and you'll be placing your truck spawner on top of it. So you can place this tile really anywhere, just make sure that you'll have enough space right next to it to place everything. Next I'm going to place my truck spawner on top of that. And here's what the spawner looks like when it's done, by the way, if it helps you guess how much space you'll need on the side. So next, you're just going to want to place two large tiles on top of each other on both sides of the spawner. You want to make sure that you're placing the tiles on the ground and not on top of the spawner. Next, place two large floors on top of those. And then you want to turn your large floor on its side like this and place one on each side one stud away from the edge of the guide blueprints, like so. Next, place a large tile on those large floors you just placed. Next, take a tiny floor blueprint and place it one, two studs away from the edge of the truck spawner like so, and place another one exactly like it on the other side. And now you just want to take a long trailer and place it on its side such that the button is closer to the button of the truck spawner, and such that the front of the trailer is directly in line with this tiny floor right here. Make sure there are no gaps left in between the spawner and the guide blueprints, and then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. 
Just place another long trailer mirroring what you did on the other side, aligning it with the tiny floor. And now you can destroy all of your guide blueprints. Try to do this very, very slowly because if you go too fast, you might accidentally end up destroying one of your spawners. And don't forget the large tile underneath the large truck spawner. Next, you want to place a large floor against the ground such that it is touching both the truck spawner and the trailer spawner. Make sure there are no gaps underneath and once again make sure that the blueprint is touching both the spawners. Next, take another large floor and rotate it like this and then place it on the ground against the edge of the other large floor. Again, making sure that there are no gaps underneath. And finally, take a tiny floor and place it on top of the blueprints in the corner. Now take your small trailer spawner and place it upside down against the large floor such that it is touching the ground and that the button is near the ground. And also such that it is one stud away from the edge of the guide blueprints with the tiny floor in the corner still visible. Next, take your remaining long trailer and place it upside down with a button close to the small trailer, making sure that the top of the spawner placement is in line with the top of the tiny floor, like so. And once you place the long trailer in properly, you can destroy all of the guide blueprints again. And next, you just want to take your door and place it like this against the side of the trailer spawner and one stud forward. You can verify its placement with a tiny floor blueprint, which is exactly one by one stud, making sure that you have one stud from the truck spawner and two studs from being in line with the front of the truck spawner. Now just open the door and spawn your truck and the two trailers, and they should attach. If they don't, it means you probably placed something wrong, so you may have to go back and rewatch the part where I placed the side trailers. Something to note is that the door will open in the direction that your character is located, so if it's opening the wrong way, make sure that your character is on the side of the door that you want it to open to. Anyways, if they did weld, you just want to open the door again and spawn the two other trailers like so, and once again, if something doesn't weld, it probably means that you placed something wrong. Anyways, now you just want to open the door again, and then move it and press B, and that will free the Giga Truck. Now in order to fully activate the Giga Truck, you just want to open the tailgate of the truck and the tailgate of these two trailers right here. And as you guys can see, you have a ton more space now. And yeah, that is the Giga Truck complete, but before you click off of this video, there is something very, very important that I need to tell you before you lose a ton of wood or items. Whatever you do, do not go on the ferry with the tailgate of the truck open. If you do, the truck will glitch under the ferry once the ferry departs and you will probably lose everything that's inside. Instead, make sure that when you're on the ferry, the tailgate is closed. You may need to remove some items from the truck in order to close it, but as long as the tailgate is closed, it won't glitch out. One more thing is that you have to make sure that the Giga Truck is closed when you're going across the bridge because it won't actually fit otherwise, but this actually gives Safari Door Bridges a new epic use because they can actually be used to take the Giga Truck across the bridge without closing it. You know what would be really funny? Excuse me. <laughs> uh, dude. Now if you want to spawn a vault truck, you just got to spawn the truck with the door in this position and then open the door and you just want to spawn the upside down trailer. As always, open the door again and then move it and then press cancel. And just like that, you have yourself an instant vault truck. And if you want to get a mega truck with this spawner, just make sure the door is in the right position as always and then spawn the truck and then the two trailers on the sides and then open it twice move it and then cancel and just like that you got yourself an instant mega truck. Now if you don't want to have to manually spawn the truck, spawning all of the trailers every single time and opening the door and everything, you can actually automate the entire process and it's pretty simple to do. This is also handy since when you load in there's a fair chance that the giga truck will just fall apart so being able to quickly respawn it is really helpful. So to automate it you're gonna need a button, nine wires, and three signal delays. If you don't know how to get the signal delays I'll link a video in the card on screen 
screen right now to a video that will explain where to get them and how to use them. Alright, so once you have everything you need, you just want to open the basic door so that it is in this position and then place your button against the knob of the door such that the output faces downwards like so. Now, of course, test it and make sure that the button actually opens up the basic door. If not, you may have placed it wrong and just leave the door in that position for now. And then you want to take your signal delays and pay special attention to the arrow on top. You want to make sure that it faces the back of the truck spawner like so. And you just want to place all three of your signal delays in a row moving towards the back of the truck spawner. And then make sure that all of your signal delays have a delay of at least six. It can be a little bit less, but to make sure it'll work even in laggy servers, I like to go with six. Now wire up your first wire from the button to the input of the first signal delay. And then you want to take another wire and wire it from the output of the first signal delay to the doorknob on the side facing the truck spawner. Now it's a little bit awkward to place the wire on that side of the door, but if you wire it to the knob on the other side of the door, it will actually open the wrong way, so it's pretty important that it's on that side. Alright, let's test it so far. To do that, open the door so its knob is touching the button, and then press the button and the door should actually open all the way automatically. If it doesn't, then you may have wired something wrong. Now take a wire from the second signal delay and hook it to the truck spawner like so. And then take a wire and hook it from the last wire you placed to the doorknob, making sure that the door is in this position when you do this. Now from that same wire, you just hook the door to, hook a wire to each of the side trailer spawners like so. I'm just going to open the door so I can place this wire more cleanly and we will have to do that anyways for the next step. Just like that. Alright, so once you get that in place, make sure that the door is in this position and just hook a wire from the last signal delay onto this side of the door. And then from that same signal delay output, hook your remaining wires to the two trailers spawners over here. And just like that, you should have a fully functioning automatic Giga Truck spawner. You can go ahead and test it, and it will actually work regardless of which way the door is open, so that's pretty nice. Now, if it worked, you can go ahead and move the door and press B as always to free the Giga Truck, and then open the tailgate of both of the trailers and the truck to fully complete the truck. Now if it didn't work, you must have done something wrong, so you can try retrying the tutorial, you can check the pinned comments for potential fixes, or you can leave a comment down below describing the issue in as great of detail as possible so I can try to get back to you with a potential fix as soon as possible. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you out. And if it has, then please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video once it's out. See ya!